Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Very, very quick video. Uh, just something that suddenly occurred to me. If you live in the UK, you might have heard all these worries about uh, rolling blackouts and what have you, and we're gonna have three hours power cuts every couple of days. And it suddenly occurred to me, how could I run my heating for those few hours a day? Because if the electric goes off, you might have gas, but if you've got a gas boiler, it needs electric to run the ignition, to run the pumps, to run the fans. So what I'm gonna show you today how to power your boiler off a um, battery bank. So at the moment, this boiler is running off of the mains and you can see it's plugged in there. So if I switch off the mains to the boiler, obviously the boiler is now dead. Okay, so here's the battery bank I'm gonna be using. You can get a lot cheaper ones than this on Amazon. You can get these same wattage for about 100 quid. Um, I'll link it in the description. I'm not in any way associated with Amazon or anyone else. What this is, is a load of lithium cells in here, DC. It's got an inverter in it, which outputs AC. 240 watt hours and 200 watts total power. So let's see if we can run our boiler off of this guy. So I'm just gonna move that over there because the cable's a bit short. So I'll put that on there, select the power. Here the boiler starting up. So there is our boiler running and you can hear it firing up and you can hear that the central heating is drawing 150 watts. 150 watts. So we're within our 200 watts. When the fan stops spinning it will probably drop a little bit. So we're running the boiler off of a power bank. The other thing we can do is we can take a shower. So you can see we've fallen back now to 90, 97 watts. I'm just going to go and open the hot tap up one second. So I just open the hot tap up. We're now drawing hot water and heat and we're well within the headroom of this uh, this little power bank. So we can have a shower and heat off of this little power bank. When the power settles down, when the central heating settles down, but it's not actually firing, it's, it's drawing about 100 watts. Okay, so what does that actually mean? Well, can't say for sure because it depends what boiler you've got. Number one, if your boiler's got a hot water cylinder, this is a non-starter because an immersion heater takes kilowatts. This will only work for a combi boiler. Right, only a combi boiler. Depending on how much and what model and what have you, if the boiler's idling, so it's just running the pumps for the central heating, it was showing about uh, 90 watts, which would give you, out of a total of 240 watt hours, about 2.7 hours. It's not only gonna be idling, it's gonna be firing sometimes. It's gonna be governed by the thermostat, which in turn is governed by how high you set the temperature, how often it's having to fire to maintain that temperature. But if you were drawing hot water standing in the shower, having a lovely hot shower with the heating belting out, it will give you about one and a half hours. Right, but you're not going to be standing in the shower for one and a half hours. So you're going to be somewhere between one and a half and two and a half hours, I would say. Probably maybe a little bit more. So if we're getting three hour rolling blackouts, then that little guy should see you good on your heating needs for, to plug that gap. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care. See you all soon. Cheers. Bye.